So I made a video like a few days ago and I said in this video that any place where time equals zero, that's the place where general relativity and quantum mechanics is unified. And I gave all the reasons in the video, you can watch that. It's called, I discovered lights link with grand unification. That's the name of the video. To save time, I won't get into every reason, but where T equals zero, there's grand unification. And tonight I realized the place where T equals zero is like I said in the video, it's before inflation, yada, yada. It's if all objects stand still, but an interesting place is right before you're born. So like right before you're in the womb, time equals zero. For your consciousness, so T equals zero for your consciousness. So to me, that links consciousness. Anywhere where T equals zero is probably linked. And the reason is they all are unified. So somehow our consciousness is linked to pre-inflation. So before the universe existed, there was grand unification. Before we existed, there was grand unification. Does that mean we're the universe? I mean, the observer effect, right? Not necessarily, right? Because like all elephants are gray, but not all gray animals are elephants or whatever, right? That whole thing. Mm -hmm. But it's, a, it's, okay. So I think before the womb, before you're born, I think you're unified. Maybe you're unified through entanglement, two particles like before inflation. I don't know. You're linked to something. So before you're born, so when you die, T equal, when you die, T equals zero as well. So you're unified again. So you come into existence basically to observe how you became unified. <laughs> I don't know. No, you can't observe that. Well, you're observing the world that made you unified. I don't know. That might give hints as the rules of this place, you know? I always wonder about the rules of this place. I don't know if I should be good, evil, neutral. I don't know. But if T equals zero and you're unified, then you're born and that disconnects your unification. And then after you die, you're unified again because T equals zero. It kind of makes sense because of the whole, like, you're subject to you know the arrow of time when you're not unified yeah but it gives hints maybe as to the purpose because you're not unified you come to be and then you're unified we know we're going to be unified again it's inevitable right so that must give hints as to the the purpose of this the purpose must be something Okay, you're unified here and you're unified there and you got this moment in between where you're not. The purpose, to me, that suggests the purpose is two things. Maybe to, um, to, to step outside yourself and observe. You know, maybe when you're unified conscious, things look a little different. So you're in this phase now where you could step out of it and observe. It's like a different perspective. It implies that. Anyway, there's two things, and now I forget the other one. Uh, it implied that it implied that your purpose is to observe things, and it also implies that this thing ex this thing has the ability to exist, but someone has to be there to render it. You know, so that has to be a purpose of you, doesn't it? Because you're unified, then you're not unified. Mm -hmm. So, when you're not unified, that's when you can render things. Yeah. And it means, by definition, you're not balanced if we're going to, if we're going with that gravity and light being equal as mm -hmm. unified. It means you're not a balanced equation, but maybe yeah. not being balanced is required for observing. Mm -hmm. So, it's also interesting. It's also interesting because death and not being born, while they're not the same thing, the fact that T equals zero at both means you're unified at both. So you go to death, still unified, but you went through a whole life. So you de-unified, 
went through a life and then unified. You have to bring something to death, is my theory. I guess that was point number two. You have to bring something, because otherwise you would just stay as not existing. And I think it's insulting to the programmers of The Sim to say that they're just stupid and made an error. I mean, I don't think they made an error. There's probably a reason it works that way. So it makes death, I guess, less scary. I'm just going to be unified again, which is probably pretty cool. I mean, it's probably like a unified consciousness. You know, panpsychism and all that. It probably, it's probably like a big blob of conscious, like, stuff. But wouldn't you be, like, frozen? I don't think you exist. I think the soul is probably not matter. It's probably more like a field. Mm. And the field is everywhere. Oh, okay. And that's why I think panpsychism could be a thing. Like, maybe I die and my soul gets plastered on the wall of panpsychic souls, you know? And that's like a field. And it could just watch things, you know? And maybe it's endlessly entertained. Yeah. But what did it bring from not being born? There's that gap. What did it bring? You could say it brought the knowledge of what to observe. Now it knows to observe, you know. But I don't know, that feels like monkey brain stuff because why wouldn't you just observe Pluto with no people, you know? So I don't know. 